Hello, Sakina. Hello, Bruce. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I just realized I bought something yesterday, right? And I thought, oh, this is cheap. And then I didn't realize that the delivery was even oh. more than the the item itself. I'm like, no. It's basically a little tub of cream, Bruce. Oh, cream? And yes. And they're charging like over five pounds just for delivery. Oh. Heart attack, Bruce. Heart attack. My husband will kill me. <laughs> so I'm going to delete that. Well, the thing is, now when I buy something, it gets That's directed to his account. Yes, so he gets he gets the email as well. He also receives the email because me and him, or my husband and I, we both share an account with Amazon and eBay. Uh, so uh, anything I buy, he gets the notification. You have successfully purchased this item. I'm like, no, I don't know. Oh well, what can I do? I just have to make up a few more hours with Kalingo then <laughs> to make up. Uh, so how are you? How's everything? Any plans for the weekend? Oh yes, I I'm gonna on a a road trip. A road trip. Road trip. Oh, exciting! Oh, but it's not far. It's not too mm -hmm. far. Just um three or three hours. Three time. hours. Ooh, okay. Where? What type of place are you going to? What will you do there? Oh, uh, it's uh, I'm I'm going to a uh, capital. Mm -hmm. The capital of my country, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna make another party. <laughs> You're gonna make another party. <gasps> yes. Oh, Bruce, you're a party animal, aren't you? <laughs> 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 Every time I speak um, to you, Bruce, what are you doing at the weekend? Now I'm going to have a party. <laughs> 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 well, I suppose, you know, life enough the mood. Um, a lot of my friends <laughs> uh, uh, live in uh, the capital of my country. So they they want me to to visit visit them to mm -hmm. be to, to I think they want to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> oh, again, even though you had one in your own. Oh, isn't that so sweet? I think it's uh it's last too long. It's last too long. <laughs> My birthday. Uh, it must be it must be a big birthday. Wow. Yes. And they must you must be so popular there, Bruce. Bruce <laughs> is coming to town. Let's have a party. <laughs> yes. So well you're gonna have you? a busy weekend. Oh, uh, I let guess, think. Let me guess. Well, the thing is, go to study. Well, I'll have to do a bit of studying. But the thing is, now we've or we got new furniture, new sofas, furniture. So now we have to have. We need to buy some more furniture to match the furniture, which is the, the oh, sofas. Okay. In yes. the UK, we say sofas. You know, to sit on. So oh, we maybe ordered that. We call, we call it um, coach. Uh, coach. Oh, you call it coach? Um, co coach? Mm, couch? 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 Sorry. Right? Couch? Yes. 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 Couch. Yeah, we call it that as well, but I think we're more for sofa. Sofa. Uh, yes. Yeah. In the UK, we say sofa for the living area. Uh, mm. Is this uh? Is a how? The your house or the renting house? No, this is our house. Um, this is oh. our house now. Yeah. Oh. So, <clears throat> this was my dad's house, and now oh. I, I'm going to take it now. My dad passed away last year. It'll be a year in oh. January. I'm I know. Really sorry. It's okay, but um, I moved back for my dad, and I, I'm I'm grateful that I got to spend. The last six months with my dad before he died. So yeah, something told me to come back, and it's amazing that you know I managed to come back in time. So yeah, so we're gonna so stay here your, for the time. Where's your mom? My mom is living in Yuri, so you know I have her as well. 
so she she's nearby, you know, to help out. But you know, we have our family, so I'm happy, you know. So we'll probably stay here for the time being. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Only time can tell, Bruce. Right? That's what I yeah. say. Only time will tell. So yeah. Now we have you, Guinea. Hello, you, Guinea. Um, morning, Sikina. Morning, Bruce Lee. Nice to see you. Nice to see Hi, you. Man. How is everything? Russia. Oh. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice weather in Russia. And uh, yesterday I had a class, French class, with a guy. Mm -hmm. He works as translator in London, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, right, okay. And what? <laughs> I didn't know you're doing French. So, what's this guy saying about London? What's he uh, commenting? I, I, I I don't remember he we talked about French mostly and mm -hmm. and honestly saying I was tongue tied because my French is a really beginner. Oh <laughs> so I just more work on my listening skills. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So you're learning French as well as English. That's really good. Yeah, yeah French is a lovely language to learn. I think it's really nice. I wish I had the time to learn a new language. Just don't get the time. Did you go cycling that day when no, I spoke to you? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it was still snowing, so I decided to. to, to I think quit. you. I think you would have ended up maybe slipping or something because it was so mushy outside. Yeah. I wouldn't really see any cyclists here in my street if it was snowing. Everybody will be making snowmen, or they will be just inside. They wouldn't be outside here. Unless you get some people that are really into the cycling, they probably would do something. Go cycling. Yeah. Well, should we get to... Oh, no, Bruce is gone somewhere. So I can I'm just back. maybe... Oh, you're back, Bruce. Great. Uh -huh. Okay. Should we get started then, guys? Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. So today is... TV and film, and we're going to be talking about our favorite sitcom, favorite comedy series of all time on TV. Um, so it's no article to read, it's just going through uh, sitcoms and discussing why you like them and what other favorite sitcoms do you like to watch, etc. Hello, Ken, how are you? Yes, I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine, how's everything in Japan? Yes, uh, it's 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 cold, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, up to anything much? Not not so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. I think it's getting cold everywhere. Yeah, except for yeah. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Australia is a different side, and South Africa as well. Yeah. Yeah, and Probably. South uh, uh, South Americans too. Oh yes. Yeah. Forgot about that, so South America, <laughs> Brazil, especially. <Yeah. laughs> okay, well, Ken, we're just going through um, what we're going to go through, uh, what we're going to do today. TV and film is our topic today, and uh, we're going to talk about um, our favorite sitcoms of all time. Okay, mm -hmm. and our grammar skill today is contractions. Contractions, we love contractions. Okay, so let's do our grammar first. You guys know what contractions are, don't you? Yeah, all yes. of you? I know. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're in big trouble now then. I would have to ask you to make me a lovely sentence with using a contraction. Who would like to go first? Bruce, because you started first. Would you like to go first to take the lead? <laughs> So I'll just summarize. You know, we have I'm, he's, she's, they'll, we'll, don't, won't. We've got so many to think of. Anyone else got one? Yeah. Uh, it is English class, in it? Mm hmm. Good, ain't it? Yes, very good, you guinea. Mm hmm. Mm. It's a beautiful flower, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Very good. Okay. Bruce, what about you? Do you think of any anything? Um, 
Do you want me to go through the grammar? And then you can think of one. Don't you ask me? Yeah, can you think of any? Or we can go through the grammar and then you can think of one then. It's up to it's you. It's my sentence. Don't you ask me? Are you thinking, me? You're thinking of a, a sentence? It's my sentence. It's my example. Ah, it's my <laughs> sentence. I was wondering what you were saying. It's my sentence. I thought you were asking a question. It's my sentence. No, Bruce. Yes. Very good, Bruce. Very good. Okay. Okay. So let's quickly do the grammar. As okay, this is a high intermediate class, so we will be doing five minutes on the grammar. Yeah, we're going to do five minutes on the grammar today because it's a high intermediate level. But anyways, I will screen share this so you can have another look at all the contractions. <clears throat> okay. Okay. As we know, contractions are used for shortening words in English, you know, as we get a bit lazy sometimes in speaking, we like to shorten our words, and this is where we contract our words. Um, so we have so many of them here on the left-hand side. We have not, let's, I'm, are with apostrophe R-E, apostrophe S for is, does, apostrophe S, has, apostrophe S, have, had, did, would, will, of, apostrophe O for o'clock we use for. Um, them, this is a very informal phrase. What are we going to do with M? So we can exclude the TH and just put the apostrophe EM. Ain't, like um, Eugenie mentioned, ain't, as in a, a cr contracted form of am not and is not. And we also have positive and negative contractions as well. Um, let's see, Ken, would you would you mind in reading these two examples of short form? Okay, I'm your, his, sees, it's, we're, there. Uh, I've, you've, his, sees, it's, we've, they've. Perfect. Okay, Bruce, can you read the next two? I'll, you'll, he'll, she'll, it'll, will, they'll, I'll, I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, it, with, it. Excellent. Thank you so much. And we also have negative contractions. Okay, lots of them here. Eugenie, would you mind reading out the negative contractions? Okay. Aren't. Okay. Can't, couldn't, daren't, didn't, doesn't, don't, hasn't, haven't, hadn't, isn't, meant, mind, mustn't, needn't, uh, oughtn't, 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 mm -hmm. shan't, shouldn't, wasn't, weren't, want, wouldn't. Perfect. Thank you, Guinea. So, guys, can you maybe think of an example with using a negative contraction? I, I hadn't had a lunch yesterday. Okay, good. Okay. What about Bruce or Ken? I couldn't mm -hmm. cut out. I couldn't cut out on my secrets. Secrets. I couldn't cut out. Is it cigarettes? Cigarettes? Smoking? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, I couldn't cut out cigarettes. Okay, yes. Cut out on, on. Cut out on yeah. cigarettes. And you can also say, I can't cut out cigarettes. You can also use both. Yep, yeah. okay. I'm not a dog. I'm not a dog. <laughs> nice one, Ken. <laughs> Okay, great guys, great. Okay, um, so also I'm sure you guys have heard of the common contractions. You know, here's, there'll, there's, that's, that'll, how's, what'll, what's, when's, where's, who's, who'd, who'll, etc. 
Okay, so we have so many here, which we always use all the time. Well, um, I'm sure you guys have heard of it lots of times as well. Um, and we have another important note to add. Some contractions can have two or three meanings depending on the rest of the sentence. For example, he can be either used as he had or he would. Okay, He'd like to go, meaning he would like to go. He had finished when I arrived. He had finished when I arrived. Okay, and then the last ones, um, which are considered contractions, very informal. A lot of Americans and the British say it as well when they speak fast. Wanna, gonna, y'all. So they're more common for native speakers. Um, so we have lots of examples using it. Can you guys maybe think of using wanna or gonna in a sentence? I'm wanna get a, I'm wanna get away. I wanna get away. Yes. Very good. Okay. What about you, Guinea or Ken? Um, I gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna have a coffee. Good. Yeah. Uh, I wanna go somewhere warm. I wanna go somewhere warm. Good. Good. Have you guys heard of y'all? Y'all. Yeah. Instead of you all. <laughs> no. You haven't. A lot of Americans say it, um, you guinea. You hear it a lot in the movies. Um, they say it a lot. I don't know about the Kalingo teachers, but I hear it all the time in the movies. Yeah. So it's quite common to be used there. I don't, we don't say it in Britain, I don't think. But we say Wana and Ghana a lot, yeah. And that's pretty much it, guys, with the contractions. Are you guys okay with the contractions? Do you need to ask any questions? And we have Sam. Hello, Sam. How are you? How are you, everybody? How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, Sam. Did you take a nice dip in your beach? What? Did you take a dip in your beach? No, today no. <laughs> <laughs> Too cold, right? Yeah. It must, must be too cool for you. Yeah. It's maybe, becoming maybe winter. I think next week. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I think you can say goodbye to the beach for for the time being. Um, uh, some. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going through some contractions. Some. Oh. Um, finali finalizing the contraction grammar skill. Oh. So maybe you can give us a sentence with using one of the contractions. Yeah, um, I'm sure you've done contractions before, Sam. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You want to think of a sentence for us, and then we can move on. Mm, yes, let me see. Okay. Yeah. Say. They are uh, just go to the supermarket. <laughs> Let's go to the supermarket, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you think of another one with using maybe wanna or gonna? Wanna. You're going to speak like an American and British now because we always say this wanna, wanna. Yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> that is not suitable for me. <laughs> I don't want this work in the in the dictionary. Wanna wanna wanna. Wanna wanna. That's not suitable for me. Yeah. <laughs> It's not really, um, like my advice, guys, because you are learning English, just say the right way, which is want to and going to. But when you become like a native speaker and fluent in your English, you will start to um, be a bit lazy and use wanna instead of want to. And the same for gonna as well. Okay, so let's think of one, some, and then we can move on with wanna. Any sentence. Yeah, you, you, you ask me? Yes, some, yes, please. Ah. 
Yeah, I, I will really want to, I will really want that, want that. Spell it out of class. I really want to go to the beach soon. Yes. Okay, great. Excellent. Okay. So let's move on then to the article. Do you guys have any questions before we move on? Uh, Alfred, I have. Uh, uh, every, uh, sometimes I, in the daily conversation mm -hmm. of native speakers, I listen, I hear, I hear mm -hmm. they, um, they, they don't use, they didn't use the the contraction, of, uh, thus sometimes, uh, uh, I want to ask you that, that the do they want to? Contraction. Mm -hmm. Do they want to make it uh, more clear by don't saying, uh, don't using contraction? Is this don't you're saying? Don't, don't as a contraction? Um, can, can you write the word that they don't contract? Uh, for example, uh, the coach name is Bob. His Instead second of saying, name. Uh, the coach. Uh, instead of saying the coach names Bob, they they might say the coach. The coach name is Bob. The coach's name is Bob. The coach's name is Bob. The coaches. Are you talking about coaches itself? Uh, coach like a name. coach as training a coach. Uh huh. Yes. 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 So, are you saying that you hear native speakers that don't use a contraction? Yes, some some case, some case. In some case, the some well, cases they with, do. with with the coach's name, that's a possessive. So, um, the thing is that has to be um a p apostrophe an s because that is a possessive form. That's the coach's name. That name belongs to the coach. No. Um, Is that what you're coach. trying to ask? The names. Is oh, that saying? Is, oh, they right, say, okay. They say um, the, coach, yeah. the coach's name is Bob. Yeah, no, that's wrong. With names, it's wrong. That's incorrect. It should be the coach's name is Bob. Is Bob? Yes, they don't contract that. That's um, because there's a reason with that. With name, that's not a word to contract. So they use is Bob instead of apostrophe s. That is the correct oh. way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. So this is the one that you got correct. I'll just type it in again. The coaches. Coach's name is Bob. Not the first one that you've put in. So the yes. coaches and then names apostrophe is no. See with name you don't contract name. Okay. Yes. Is that okay? It's just yeah, a rule it. with name you just don't contract it at all. All right. So if you see that uh, somewhere, that you know that's wrong, that's incorrect. Okay. Are there any? Uh, is there any exception? Any other so for, exception? So, um, just thinking. There. Well, there are a few other rules that you probably would need to look at, but I need to actually think about so many of them. It all depends. Like when we're looking at these contractions, these all come from. These are like. The first one, like he, she, they, they're from subjects. So you know with the subject, we can contract it. So when you have a look at here, I'm, your, he's, there, where, okay, you can contract them because these, these can be the subject of a sentence. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to get back. I'll have to get back to you on that because there are a few rules that you. Don't contract, but I definitely with name, 
no, there's, there's a definite rule there, you just don't contract the name. Okay? But I'll, I'll research into that because there are a few rules with where you don't contract. Okay, Bruce, and I'll get back to you on that. Yes. Is that a, okay, Bruce? Okay? <laughs> okay? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. So, any other questions, guys, before we move on about contractions? No? Okay. So, I will send you guys the link. I think it's always better to send you guys the link. And then I will um, screen share it as well. Now, it's not an article. It's no reading today. It's just going through um, and discussing your favorite sitcom and what do you like about this favorite sitcom, etc. Um, okay. Let me just screen share this now. Where are you? Okay. So, my favorite sitcom slash comedy TV shows. So, as you can see here on the, the right-hand side, we have the rating, 7.9. A lot of people rated this sitcom 7.9. That's quite good. Um, so, have you guys ever heard of Frasier before? American sitcom? It's quite popular. No. No? no. Kind of, uh, no. Comedy. Oh my god, yes it is Bruce, it's a comedy, very funny sitcom, my god you guys haven't heard of it, very good to watch, um, quite old, I think it was in the 90s, I think it finished probably 2000 maybe, if I'm wrong. You might, you might say uh, situation comedy. Yes, yes. Situation. So, situation comedy, like a realistic comedy, realistic life comedy, funny, um, it's basically um, one of the guys is a doctor, <clears throat> and they're living in a in the city called Seattle. And you know they all share different um, jokes with each other, and you know it, it's quite funny to watch. I used to watch it when I was a child, but um, I stopped watching it before I went to university. But it's quite good. Um, what about Friends, guys? You guys have to watch Friends. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yes, I like yeah. it. Okay, so Bruce, what do you like? The which is the most unique thing about Friends? What do you think? What makes it so oh, wow think, to watch? Mm, uh, as I think, uh, funny. A lot of fun. A lot of fun is this movie. That mm -hmm. made it uh, that makes it unique. Mm -hmm. I think every yeah. single episode it had its different. Um, type of funniness to it, right? Um, which was your favorite okay. character? Mm, I, I think I I love uh, Joe. Joe. Jo. Yes, Joe. <laughs> yes, I like Joe as well. Joe uh, is cool. I I love the way he say he says, "How you doing? How how you doing? <laughs> how you how doing? You doing? <laughs> yes." <laughs> <laughs> you remember fun. that? Yeah, he was hilarious. Yeah, I really liked him. What about you, Ken? Who was your mm -hmm. favorite character out of Friends? Mm, maybe uh, Matthew Arnold's. Uh, I forgot the name of the role. Was it Chandler? Chandler? Uh, Chandler, yes, Chandler. Yeah. Uh -huh. What did you like about Chandler? Uh, kind of funny. <laughs> funny character. Yeah, yeah he, he was funny. Yeah. Is he working for CNN? I don't know. I he had a he had a very good job from the series. No, I don't think so. Can you, Guinea? Have you watched Friends? Uh, yes, I watched Friends, but I didn't watch them for a long time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Also with me, I haven't watched it for a long time. Um, who was your favorite character out of Friends, you Guinea? Mm, I don't know. I love them all. Yeah, yeah. I think somebody really. I think a lot of people liked um, oh, Joey because he was very silly and funny at the same time. A lot of people liked him. And uh, what about you, Sam? Did you did you watch Friends before? No, I haven't seen it before. 
Oh, so you I, should. <laughs> you should watch it. It's so funny, Sam. You would laugh your head off. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very funny show to watch. Very old. They don't show it anymore, unfortunately. Even in the UK Some, TVs, I don't think they show it here. Is life action movie? Action movie. Oh, Sam no. only likes ac action movie. Ah, oh, okay. No, no, I just like the war. War. You like the war movies? Yeah, Second World War. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I God. Okay. <laughs> I, I just watched a, a war movie two days ago. Such a sad movie, guys. Oh, my God, it was very sad. It was about uh, the Second World War when Hitler was there. And um, you know how he made the Jews suffer. It was all about the Jews and what they had to go through. And um, Hitler itself, oh, it was terrible. I was crying my eyes out. I do cry in their movies, some more movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, I, I, I want just the movie, not, not the real things. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. I know. It's just really, really yeah. yeah. There are quite good movies out there. To watch, definitely. Okay, what about this one? I don't think anybody would have watched <coughs> this one. Curb your enthusiasm? No. No. I no. I don't think so, oh. guys. Huh? Bruce, have you watched I it? I go through the list and I <laughs> realize that I only, only, see. <laughs> I I have only seen the Friends movie. Are you serious? Really? Yes. Yes. Oh. You need to watch a few more. What about um, Eugenie? Have you watched any of these? What about Everybody Loves Raymond? No? No, no. Only what I watched it, uh, Friends and... Um, oh, how do you... Big Bang Theory. Yes, a lot of people like the Big Bang Theory. A lot of people like that. Is it funny, Eugenie? What like I don't know. I don't know what the characters are like. You want you wanted to tell us about it? Convince me to watching the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory is about a bunch of nerds that live oh. together, and they have a uh, neighbors next door. Mm -hmm. Her name Penny. And this story about relationship with this mm -hmm. girl. Oh, okay. They all fancier. <laughs> yeah, and their life. <laughs> and their life. Wow, I watched a few. Like, well, I'd only watched maybe five minutes of it, but a lot of people say it's like the hit show, um, to watch. What about you, Ken? Do you ever watch mm -hmm. The Big Bang Theory? Uh, I've heard of that, but maybe I've never heard watched mm -hmm. that because. Uh, uh, there are uh, not so many boring comedy on TV, mm -hmm. and so it's a bit difficult to watch. Maybe I just watch Friends and uh, and uh, uh, Ron Atkins, uh, The Thin Blue Line on TV. Oh, The Thin Blue Line! Ah, yeah. oh, yes, I've heard of that, but I never actually watched that one. But you know what's good to watch, guys? The Office. If you guys want, if you guys want to laugh your heads off, it's very good to watch The Office. Um, it's more, of, it's a, it's a comedy sitcom, British comedy sitcom. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to watch this as well. So check mm -hmm. it out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can always check it out on YouTube. You know, yeah. Mister um, Bean was very popular here. Oh, was he, Cam? Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Bean was very popular on, on TV. He yeah. was so funny. You know, they still mm. show they still show him on TV. Oh, Mr. really? Bean. I didn't know that. Okay, I checked that on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. lot. Of, yeah, YouTube is also good. But you know, my mm. son he likes to watch Mr. Bean, mm -hmm. and they also have you know the cartoon of Mr. Bean as well. Oh, I yes. see. Yeah, have you seen it, Bruce? The cartoon of Mr. Bean. I've I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. It, I don't, it's not as good as the real Mr. Bean, but oh, you know, I, it's good for kids. I usually uh, watch this uh, movie with uh, my nieces. Oh, you do? Oh. <laughs> yes. Are you trying to be a little child again, Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> 
I know Mr. Bean's funny to watch, definitely. What about you, Sam? Have you heard of Mr. Bean in Hong Kong? Yes, I heard. Uh, I have heard before, but I just uh, maybe I have uh, uh, I have seen uh, one or two 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 movie about the uh, Mr. Bean. <laughs> okay, and what did you think? Did you? Um. Mm, uh, uh, Oh, I think um, maybe funny, maybe funny, yeah. Uh huh. Very funny, yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, just a few. What about Seinfeld, guys? No. Ken, I know Eugenie and Bruce. They only know Friends and The Big Bang Theory. Um, what about Ken or some Seinfeld? No, 1989. <laughs> 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 Ken, what about you? Um, no. <laughs> oh my god. What about Third Walk from the Sun? No. Okay, no. I never used to watch Seinfeld, but Third Walk from the Sun was very funny. It's about a group of aliens that are sent to Earth disguised as a human family to experience and report life on the third planet from the sun. This is why they call it third planet from the sun. So as you can see this family are a group of aliens but they are visible as humans. So it's quite mm -hmm. funny to watch this one, yeah. Um, cheers! Guys, cheers! No? Very old series though, 1982. Just, it's all about uh, the bar in Boston it's called the Boston Bar Cheers they actually have it Cheers you can go in to visit Cheers in America United States and it's all about being in this bar people share their experience and lives with each other while drinking or working at the bar where everybody knows your name so that was yeah. I remember that as a kid Roxanne was a funny show as well about a working class family struggling with essential problems like marriage, children, money and parents-in-law so this family you know they were a very common family they lacked a lot of money they didn't have enough money and they, they went through a few problems and it was realistic you know that's what I liked about the show it was quite realistic um, and then the Big Bang Theory Looks really good. 8.6. Wow. Rated pretty good. So, yeah. Apparently, this is quite popular. Um, what about this one? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Anybody? Will Smith, guys. Oh, my God. No? I know him. Oh, Bruce, did you watch it before, though? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, I just uh, I just watched uh, another movie of him. Okay. Yeah, this is a very old TV series. When he first was making it into the celebrity world, yeah. This um, show is about um, a huge rich family based in California. And this guy here, Will Smith, he's a street smart teenager from Philadelphia so he visits or he live he moves in with his big rich uncle and they live together and you know you know they share a lot of problems and they have a lot of funny moments it's quite it was quite popular to watch I remember watching this every day when I was a child it's quite funny I think the rest of these guys are all English shows there's Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson can for you. There you go. <laughs> there you go there as well. Ron Atkinson. It's actually in a few sitcoms. The Black Adder. The Black Adder 2. And then the Black Adder the 3rd. Oh my god. And then the Black Adder goes 4th. Oh my god. It's quite popular. The Royal Family, guys. And I don't think you guys would like this one. This is very... It's such an English series sitcom. <laughs> This is what English families do. They sit by the TV and just talk. That's what that's what this series is all about. A family that sit indoors every day, all the time, eat, oh. 
and talk. That's it. It's all about the sofa. I swear. Are they insane? <laughs> no, they're normal. They're just like a working class family. Well, the father here with the glasses, he doesn't work. He just oh. sits. He just sits on the sofa all day. Now the wife, she works. She works in a bakery. And she is the breadwinner. She brings home the money. And then you have the daughter. And then you have um, the son-in-law, the husband of the daughter. Mm. Now, the son-in-law, he works. She doesn't work. She is a very lazy girl. She doesn't cook. She doesn't uh, clean. She does nothing. So they always go to the mom and dad's house to eat because she doesn't cook. And then, they have, then you have the son. The son, basically, he's not working either. Uh, he's still oh. a teenager. He's still a teenager. So it's quite funny. You know, what they talk about, it's really funny. I don't know if you guys will like it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys would find it funny. Um, but, you know, you should try it out. Maybe check it out on YouTube. See how you feel about it. <laughs> but it is funny. I would say, yeah. I, would say I love their love handle. Oh, yes, they do, Bruce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> from sitting on the couch for too long yeah that's right well the husband does the father has love handles sure definitely oh you, you call the coast the cots the cost the couch couch yes the or the sofa couch. yeah couch sofa yeah <laughs> so so basically the show it's in the living area it's all about the living room the living area that's it they don't go outside they don't go to places it's all in the living area so yeah, and then there's the thin blue line. Um, I think these are more English programs as well. Oh, this is quite funny, guys, to watch. And this lady here, she's well, she's British. She's a very traditional lady, high in her mighty, and she is a basically she's a working class citizen. And the way she acts, she acts like the queen. So she acts like she's a millionaire, but she's not a millionaire. <laughs> she's just a working class person. So it's quite funny to watch this as well, keeping up appearances. Um, uh, I'm just thinking any ones that you might like to watch. These are all old, I think, the rest of them. Oh, this one's funny as well, guys. Rabsy Nesbitt. Oh, my God. This is so funny. This guy here, he's living off benefits. So, basically, he doesn't work. He's low-life scum. Um, his wife works, but he doesn't work. He's based in Scotland. Scotland. Have you guys heard of Scotland? Yes. Yes. So, he lives in Scotland, and he has a Scottish accent. I can't do a Scottish accent, but you know what a Scottish yeah. accent sounds yeah. like. It's it's very it, it, strong. It's the so, same British accent. Uh, not exactly. It's a bit more. I don't know how to describe Scottish Maybe accent. It's stronger. Right? It's stronger than British accent. It is stronger than British accent, and I don't think you would be be able to understand mm -hmm. the the Scottish Maybe accent. Maybe some Gaelic words are spoken in Scotland or. That interfere the English. Third, oh, I'm not sure about them. If I, I can't do an accent of Scottish, but all I can say is for it is quite difficult to understand the Scottish. Um, mm -hmm. but they are so nice. They are so friendly. You know, they say the Irish are very friendly. The Scottish are very friendly as well. So, um, yeah. So basically, this guy is Scottish, and he spends his time every day drinking alcohol. So you can see him going to the shops, buying alcohol, drinking it, cursing. He curses a lot. So be aware of the language. Um, and he basically tells people off at the street, you know. He's mm -hmm. sitting at the side drinking alcohol, you know. But it's just funny how he talks, you know. I don't know. If you or if you guys want to have a laugh, you can check him out. I don't know. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm just thinking anyone else. Everybody Hates Chris. This is American comedy now. Uh, it's all about Chris and his family, childhood experiences. Um, it wasn't quite interesting to watch. I didn't find it very funny. But, you know, some people probably did. You know, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. 
Do you have any questions about any of the series or sitcoms so far? I know you guys haven't heard of all of them. Um, but, you know, it's always good to check them out if you are interested, you know. It's good to watch English shows to improve on your language as well. Um, but, yeah. Why, why doesn't the list uh, consist uh, include how I met your mother? Oh, yes, that's right. I don't know, Bruce. You know what I'm thinking? Because... It goes by the ratings, I think. Oh. <laughs> I think, yeah. And when you look at the top of the article, it's a guy that made this article. He created this article oh. himself. So I think it's his favorite TV shows that he grew up watching. Oh. So it's I from a I personal up, effect. Yeah. I think I should up another favorite sitcom on this uh, website. Yeah, I did hear about that one. Hi, I met your mother. Yes, that's quite. I think I remember watching that. I used to watch that with my dad. I think. Yeah. Was it about um, the son and a wife of a certain mother or something like that? Hi, I met your mother, and he does silly things, silly acts. No. Or uh, he he tell he told uh, his son and his daughter about uh -huh. how. How he met uh, Joe, uh, his wife. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Mm -hmm. How I met your mother. I, yes, oh. I think it's uh, even uh, oh, it better than Friends. Really? Well, let's have yes. a look. How I met your mother. Is is this it here? Oh yes! Now I know who it is. Yes, with Michael J. What's his name? Michael. Oh, this is a, the I, famous actor. Yes. Oh my God, I forgot his name. My God, he was a famous <laughs> actor. Remember, um, he acted in um, Back to the Future. Remember, guys? Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> I know the this actor, guy. but I forgot. I he know appeared. me too. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of his name. I know his first name is Michael. Michael. Yeah. Yeah, mm. Michael. No, I never watched this one, Bruce, but it's rated 8.6. Pretty good. Can you tell us about this one, Bruce? What it's about? Um, uh, they are, there's are only talk about uh, uh, the story around, surround their uh, five friends. Mm -hmm. They, it's kind of uh, like uh, the series Friends. Mm -hmm. And they usually go to the bar and talk about their uh, their job, their their affair, mm -hmm. and not are uh, the the guys what uh, the guy want to talk about uh, how they how he how he met uh, his wife and mm -hmm. he met uh, a lot of girls, but. Uh, right now, I I still don't know uh, who is his wife. Oh, interesting. That sounds really interesting. I might actually check it out on YouTube. Don't we love YouTube, guys? Isn't it cool? Yeah, you get it. You posted something Kingdom with Stephen Fry. Never heard of this one. Is this a new series or old? Uh, it's quite new, maybe. It was mm -hmm. aired two years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe two and um, a half, I don't remember. You want to tell us about it because Stephen Fry is a, a really good uh, director. Uh, like this this um, movie about solicitor, which is Stephen Fry, and mm -hmm. he works in little city. I don't know. It's maybe it's not a city. Maybe it's a village, small village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, and he has a uh, his assistant. Young guy, and they investigate in different situation. Very interesting. Very interesting. You know another show? It's it a very good to watch, guys. Game of Thrones. Have you guys heard of it? Game Game of Thrones. Yes. Yeah, you heard of it, Ken? Well, what do you think of it? Give me your comments. 
Uh, I don't know because I've never checked. Oh, it's so good to series. watch. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. I'll show you a picture of it. Game of Thrones. Very good. It has drama. It has a bit of horror. It has romantic. It has um, sad. It has everything in this. In, in this series and it's rated 9.4 so there you go 9.4 oh, it is so oh. unpredictable I swear you don't know what's gonna happen it's so unpredictable and like towards the end of the series you're like oh my god why did that happen <laughs> so you're in suspense you're in suspense throughout the whole um, series and now season four, it's or season five, it's coming out soon. I think it's gonna come out in December sometime. So yeah. Nine point four. And I think I would say I would definitely like this. You think? Sorry, what was that, Bruce? I think I think I will definitely watch this. Yeah, nine point four, guys. You can't beat it. There yeah. you go. Really, really good. I've got good taste, right, guys? 9.4. <laughs> no, it is really good. A lot of people like to watch this. Um, this is a British series, and I think you should be able to check it out on TV as well. Or if not, then you can check it out on YouTube. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's got everything that you want in this series. And that's pretty much it, guys. Any questions so far? We got carried away with our talking of movies and series. We forgot to talk about the discussion questions. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <clears throat> and I think I definitely will check that one out. How I Met Your Mother. That's really good. Um, and also, I'm going to be watching Game of Thrones. It's going to start next month. Yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Yeah. Sam, are you okay? You're all quiet. I'm okay. So, I'm okay. You're okay. Good, good. Okay, well, guys, I'll let you go. And um, I hope you enjoyed, you know, looking at all the different sitcoms and having a different idea of what to watch. Um, yeah. So, but definitely, guys, my advice: Game of Thrones. Watch it. Check it out. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'll let you go. Um, so I shall see you soon because I have another class to prepare for. Uh, my next class is going to be, um, just check it out, my sports and hobbies, passive voice. So you're more than welcome to join me if you can. Okay. So I shall see you soon or in the next class. Okay, guys. All the best for now. Thank you for the class. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.